think I was gonna let the month of October slip by without doing a super scary bassoon video. For me, I have to say that I have seen a lot of bassoons in my day, but none has entertained me more than when I found an old school Linton. An old school Linton where the pieces actually snap together like on a winter vest. I have the wind and the long joint, they're together. They snap together with a magnetic snap. Oh. No. instead of having a locking mechanism. No! This plastic bassoon also has some other interesting key features. For instance, the thumb keys. You'll note that you do have all of the low note thumb keys going from the D all the way down to the B flat. But what I find fascinating is that you only have a whisper key and a C sharp key. The C sharp key on this instrument actually does depress and move. But the whisper key is a mechanism that is not attached to anything. As a bassoonist, you're probably already familiar that the whisper key usually depresses a button on the vocal, making low notes easier to happen. On this instrument, the whisper key is simply a button. A button that does not attach anywhere. Now, unfortunately for me, when I bought this bassoon, it did not have a vocal with it. <coughs> I'm putting this out there to you guys that maybe have some familiarity with obscure instruments, would the instrument have actually had a vocal that would have had a button on it, um, that would have had a tone hole opening on it um, so that it could release air? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm guessing it wouldn't simply because the whisper key is just a, it's just a button that does not attach anywhere. The boot joint is also equally entertaining. The front keys, you still have the F key as well as the A flat key, but the F sharp key has somewhere disappeared over time. It appears that at one time it did exist because the F key is cut out to leave space for the F sharp key, but there's no attachment and there's nowhere for it attached to. So did they just create that shape of key simply because that's what they already had on hand? and maybe there wasn't ever really enough sharp key to begin with. Lucky for most bassoonists who may have played this bassoon at one point in time, there is an F sharp key on the back. So the only way to play F sharp would have been with a thumb F sharp. I'm just now noticing too that the pancake key pad has fallen off in the last Aye. month. <laughs> this poor bassoon. When we put the whole bassoon together, it doesn't look as scary. <laughs> it was just made with so many missing pieces. And I've had many people try to tell me that I should be making it into a lamp, but there's a part of me that's like, it's a little francaroon. And this little francaroon needs love too. I have tried playing it um, before the pads were disengaging and falling off, and I can get sound on it, although the overall range is severely diminished with the lack of thumb keys, and also with the ability to vent, that's disappeared. So the whole flicking venting conversation, no worries about that one. The overall tone colors on it though, even with um, a vocal that does have the button on it, that it would just mean the whisper key was always open so the low notes are harder to get out. It did have a plastic bassoon sound. It wasn't fantastic, but I could get some notes out on it. But for me, there was this aspect where I have always wanted to have a bassoon that was basically a francaroon. A little Frankenstein bassoon instrument that was just crazy and obscure in my collection. And for me, I found it and I feel like I've accomplished some major victory in my bassoon career. I am curious to see if any of you guys out there have any information on this Linton or if you know what kind of vocal it would have come with because I would actually at some point like to get a matching vocal and maybe get some of the pads redone just to, you know, get a little history on my Frank Arun. I hope you guys enjoyed this super scary bassoon video and maybe it has made you appreciate your bassoon just a little bit more. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of the holiday special videos on my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Bye.